Play. Uh, Mr Chair, um, I would, uh, whilst I'm critical of the bill, I would um, like to uh, just raise something that I believe um, is, is something that uh, was overlooked in the, uh, in the select committee, Correct. and I would ask, I'm particularly pleased to see Chris Finlayson in the chair because um, he's a very detailed um, person like myself, and um, I'm sure once this is pointed out, we'll um, agree. Um, under under uh, at part one, under um, the new section 28, clause six, um, if, if, the, if the minister and the house, in fact, would look um, that the amend uh, that in committee, uh, the um, the employer um, or representative of the employer must advise the representative of the union of the employer's decision as soon as reasonably practicable, but no later than, and it was changed in committee from uh, two working days to the working day. So under, under uh, B, it refers to the working day. So uh, uh, new section 20A, clause 6, um, B. Clause, clause 6, 2B. Sorry. Uh, 6... 2B. So if we look at B, uh, and you'll see, uh, the Minister will see underlined the working day, and then under C, uh, the, it, it refers to within two working days. It hasn't been changed uh, to the uh, working day. Just, if the, if the member would just be quiet for a minute, um, and then, and then under clause under the thir under three, uh, the minister will see that the two working days has been um, amended to back to uh, no later than the working day. So um, I feel very confident in saying that um, in light of B and C, uh, sorry B and number three, refer to um, after the, uh, the the day after that in fact um, there is an error or that it just hasn't been amended. So I would um, request, I can see the Minister has already picked that up, he's nodding wisely, and if we can just uh, get that fixed, that's really good. But, um, uh, and I would thank the Minister for that, but whilst I'm on it, I would also um, uh, request that, uh, that really serious um, con um, consideration be given to the other very, very good amendments uh, relating to access put up by uh, Trevor Mallard, uh, particularly um, referring to some, some reasons where access would not be, um, would not be uh, able to be declined, and that's or that, that permission isn't actually had to be gained uh, at prior consent, and that's unless the access is required for urgent health and safety matters. Of course, that's really important. A whole day waiting, if it's an urgent health and safety, an unsafe machine, the, uh, the um, union are called in, really important in to, for consideration to be given in those matters. Also, unless the access is required for matters relating to harassment or discrimination of an employee. If we look at the worst case scenario, uh, Mr Chair, where um, perhaps a woman worker is being sexually harassed, she wants to call the union organiser in to discuss this, it is absolutely untenable, uh, we would put, that, the, that that worker has to wait for the next day. If you look at the harm, if it's about the health and safety of employees being paramount, then it is really important, uh, we would put, that uh, those provisos, or in those instances, that, um, that prior consent is not, um, is, is not required. And also, unless it is related to matters of redundancies or potential dismissals, or where the union rep is see seeking to represent a worker in employment dispute. Now, I can put my hand on my heart and say, in these instances, in many cases, in these instances, if the union comes in, the, that the matter can be resolved without that worker losing their job. And in fact, without it escalating, rather than bubbling, bubbling, bubbling over 24 hours um, in, a, in, a, in, in seriously dysfunctional situation. So I would really request, Mr uh, Chair, that uh, uh, the Minister, whilst he's accepted one amendment, would actually look 
really carefully at these because I think they are very, very good amendments. Certainly, um, we would rather um, the bill didn't come into effect at all. Mr Chair, Mr Chair, Mr Chair. Sorry, honourable.